Hello guys, Susanna here. Um, I haven't been here for a while. I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. I'm going to give you a, a quick sneak peek. Um, I've been working on some digi kits. I still haven't finished. I've got to, you know, do um, highlights and go in with pencil. Um, I'm just going to call this birds, butterflies and bunnies, maybe. Or maybe just birds and butterflies. Um, so I'm just working on bits and pieces still haven't finished it all haven't done it as you can see haven't finished coloring it in but i'm loving how it's looking so um takes a little while <laughs> so that's uh up and coming digi kits um that that's just the way that i do them so what i really want to do um is some um more slow stitching i've had a big response last year with my um slow stitching it's probably my my most watched videos and I really enjoy it but I want to do it differently I've been inspired I don't know if you guys can see I've got because I film on my uh my phone so I've got my laptop here and I've been inspired on Pinterest let's have a look if it comes up and I want to do some stuff like this I don't know if you can see it that sort of thing uh, it's gonna go all blurry on me um just i want to do more like little bits and pieces and just um slow stitching ideas and all that kind of stuff go back got my um i'm gonna do something look at this isn't that gorgeous so cute probably more watercolor than anything but it's adorable um my biggest inspiration was probably Come on, go back. This little guy here. Oh, so cute. Um, and I just love it. I think it is beautiful. So here's my board. I like this guy. I'm going to sort of do more that style. Because I've got these that I want to do. I've got these stamps. Um, I can't remember where. I mean, I got them from my local shop. I've, I've got it written down in my um, the junk journal book somewhere so um, yeah I'll find out what where the name of it is it's just got it from my local craft shop it's so cute um, and then combination between that and this one here this one I just love it I think it is beautiful so I'm going to get out some there we go it's gone into focus some doilies and all that kind of stuff and like piece them together and then I want to stamp over the top of that and then paint um and just do bits and pieces is also is I'm just giving you a bit of an idea of some of the stuff I want to do so you just go onto Pinterest love my board I've got a porcupine I want to do I love that I think that is beautiful like doing a scenery using like that's just lace and all that kind of stuff so bits and pieces like that so incorporate and so these would make good journal covers um or even and there that bunny is again that's how much i liked it um but these i think these are awesome these are little the envelopes with slow stitching i think they are beautiful so i'll definitely be doing some of those but um yeah so you just look on pinterest put in slow stitching i love this that will definitely be one that I do. Yeah, I might go on that one. Oh, I think it's even smaller. Uh, well, there we go. There's a little fox. But I love the way it's just it's just plain, but it's being stitched. Anyway, that's enough of you looking at this. Here's my sewing. Uh, my I've got my small little ironing board off to one side. So here's my slow my slow stitch on of what I've got on my channel on play on the playlist i've got a slow stitching um tutorial on how to do it so i'm going to do a few more bits and pieces which should there we go here it is so i love it okay well i'll put it back and get some inspiration to inspire myself and um so what you need to do i might sit down now four minutes of just showing you i've you get if you haven't got a stamp Get a picture that you really like. And this is a book that I've got. Um, it's a Dutch one by, by the same guy who did those gnomes. And I really love this picture here. I think that's rather sweet. There's another one here somewhere. There, this little guy. 
um, I may end up doing that one, you know, something like that. Um, that gives me inspiration to draw something myself and then paint the outline of it. Um, so what I'll recommend, if you're not an artist, either you get, what's that, tracing stuff, that carbon paper, you put that underneath and put that onto your bit of fabric and then just trace around and that will put that onto the fabric. Or you photocopy it and then you... Um, you know do a colored pencil behind it and then trace around it and that will leave an imprint as well so that's for personal use you wouldn't be able to sell that because it's from a book but um yeah that's all we're doing it for anyway slow stitching is so much work <laughs> you wouldn't want to do it um to sell so maybe as a gift so what you need to do i've got bags of fabrics Bags and bags of fabrics and laces. And I've got my two tubs sitting out here with um, with some stuff. I'm just going to go back down. Back up, 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 up. And go on the one which I just love it. Where are we? There we go. This page looks good for me. Now, I'll move that along in a minute. But I want to get... Okay, so what you need to do is find some calico or just some plain, plain fabric. And I'm thinking, oh, I might like that Oops. pink background. I've got some more like that. It's probably a bit too thin, that one. Um... It depends how big you want it. See, that's a good piece. That might be a good piece just to show you. But it's probably a bit too small. No. Ah, that might be a little bigger. Yep, yeah, that's probably a better piece and it's a bit mottled. Okay. I sort of want to go the vintage styles here. I've got the rusty colours because I want to do the fox then I've got some greens and I've even got a tiny little fox there which I might even incorporate this one here so you just go through your, your fabric stash and then I've got this sort of stuff real I want real vintagey oh yes 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 there's another picture down below that um shows how you use felt is the best for slow stitch because you, when you cut it out it doesn't fray so i'm going to cut out leaves and then i'm just going to put um slow uh, stitch leaves on there and they are the best for that that's on the bottom end of i can probably show you a picture when i get up to that <laughs> so um this would be a bit of a so just sort of rusty colors probably a bit thick but we'll see that sort of stuff. Browns. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Love that. Love that. Love that. This. Bit of everything. Oh, here we go. More of the donuts. Felt. That. Um, oh, here we go. Sanderson fabric. Really like that. Yeah, splash of, splash of blue. Okay, got a bit of everything in there. That's that one. I mean, you tend to go for similar stuff anyway. A oh, bit of... Uh, yeah. Okay, even with the smallest little bits of fabric. Okay, we need a bit of that. Well, maybe not. I actually really like this. I might put some of that on there. Okay, that's that. All it looks like at the moment to you guys is a big mess. So I've got this. Might go that. Um, don't mind that. Some of these fabrics are just beautiful. Maybe. Okay, and then I've got my bag of little laces and bits and pieces and, and then I've still got my 
other things. So what we need to do now is find your base piece, which will be what a mess. What a mess. I'm going to stick that in there as well. Okay. What we need to do is find that. Then I know I've got my, well, I've got my iron out. So I'll probably need to hook that up. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. I'm back again. What I've done is I've got myself a base piece. I've got the iron on here at the moment. Having to do everything left-handed. I just cut out doesn't matter if it's a little bit creased I have ironed it but it's just not seemed to be going down and I've found this I really quite like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of the mushrooms on here like that and then I'm going to put the either the standing up fox or the sitting down one so um, and this is going to be cut because it doesn't quite fit, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to do um, embroidered leaves and all that kind of stuff in there. So basically um, what I'm going to do today is do the stamping and I'll show you how you can um, like colour it in with watercolour or even if you haven't got watercolour acrylic paints watered down that works as well and then how to keep it from bleeding and then all that kind of stuff okay well um i've just got to get one more thing i'll be back and then i'll stamp these on and proceed to colour it okay back again um this is in love arts if you want to use these and these ones are this is the tag that i made from my last journal um melissa lowry i don't know if you can see that over the over the hedge premium collection that said clear stamps um I'm not sure, yeah i just got them from a local craft shop so um yeah that's what you got so what i'm gonna do is move that over now probably I want to ink it I've got memento um, this is the permanent ink so I want to do it in um, brown but I want to make sure that it's um, you know dark enough so I'm going to put a little bit of black on the top as well now tissue do not want the other stuff on this. Okay, you really only do get the one chance. And it's on a doily. So, okay. Mm. Since I'm going to be cutting that off, I will go a bit more over here. Okay. Push down. there we go it doesn't matter if it's that that's fine because I am um, going to be um, painting it anyway so got this little guy he's so cute um, a little bit of black only a tiny bit Okay, um, make sure I've got no other, so I want to, there we go, sort of sitting underneath it. Okay, hopefully you can see this guys, a bit lower than normal, well, my desk is a little bigger than what it was, but really want to probably get it a proper indentation okay there we go put these away and put these away i want to keep that because that's good for the coloring and gives you a bit of an idea what the lines and everything are these are so cute love these ones and back so what you do 
um, because I'm going to be using a bit of watercolour and all that kind of stuff and I really don't want this to bleed. So, as in, you know, smear. So what you do is you get some... Just nap, um, tissue paper, like napkins. And then... Let's sew that in there. Oh, let's sew that in there. Iron that down. So it gives it a good... Seals it in. Probably almost do it directly on the on the page but you face it down so that if it does imprint it imprints onto your um, napkin. napkin what are they called tail tail it that's the one you gotta be careful too if you've got lace this is a thicker lace like it's a vintage lace um, that you don't melt it <laughs> but um, this is linen so now Let's seal that in. Now, I will turn, move this over. Move this aside. Content. And then come back here. Actually, I might go underneath here. Now we're in frame. There we go. I've gotten some bits and pieces over here, some extra lace and whatnot. But for now, we're just working on this piece. Okay, so what you do is have a sip of coffee. That's always good. Where's my water? Okay. It's all messy because I have been using it to um, paint my um, my digital kits. Now I'm telling you beforehand, when I get busy painting, I tend to be a little bit on the quiet side, so you've got to forgive that. So I've got a little bit of red happening here, so I might as well use that straight away. And what you do when you paint it. See how that bleeds? I don't know if you can see that. It, like it really bleeds. So you go not quite to the edge. And you just do it fairly rough. It doesn't have to be because it always dries lighter every time, especially when you iron it. So I iron it, which seals it in because it's nice and watery. And you wouldn't, who would have thought that you could use watercolour on fabric? Hey? It goes very quite bleedy, and I don't want it to be like bright, bright red anyway. Like, this is just a water bottle using water. Get my stuff in the end again. And that does seem really bright, but it always lightens. So, just finish filling in that. So, this is probably going to be part one. Just showing you how I do the painting aspect of this. And then we do, even though in the thumbnail this says slow stitching, it's still part of it. But it's Susanna's way of doing it because there's more than one way to do something. Actually, where on here? Seems a bit odd, but I'm going to just give him some red cheeks. So, and I might even do a little bit in the kitten ears. Okay, now let me go and and we probably may even end up stitching around the outside of that. So 
Okay, now. Um, the bottom part here. Might have a little bit more brown. So let me just finish this off and then I'll show you. Actually quite therapeutic. I want to do a bit more art this year because that's who I am. And I see, you know, Artie Mays and a few other people, you know, incorporate their, their work. Okay. Get a little bit of the brown here. Okay, and then a little more lighter on this little guy. Because you can guarantee it seems really bright now, but it won't be once we dry it. Got a bit more orange in there than what I'd like. Okay. okay. I'm just picking a side that's going to have a little bit more light to it. Okay, so what we do now, oh, so much easier when I've got everything set up and I don't have to move it all around, is. Yeah. I'll give it a pause I'll organise myself now bring the iron back in turn this around like that I'm having to do it left handed which is a bit weird probably do it straight on it so that will dry that but it also makes it permanent. Um, I mean, if you put this in the wash, probably it may wash out, but it um, seals it in. So, okay. Let's look. See how it's lighter? Always goes lighter. Okay. How cute is that? It's so cute. I mean, I'm just doing stamps because not everyone can draw. So I'm just, this is like a demonstration. Not that I don't like the stamps. I think they're beautiful. But um, like I've seen in some of my previous um um tutorials where i actually showed how to do a bird and i that was one that i'd drawn myself and um yeah other covers as well that i've drawn myself okay now we'll put this aside again and then i'll finish coloring in okay. it usually always dries a little bit a little bit lighter Okay, back in again, and then I'm going to do my little guy, and I thought for the sake, oh, I wasn't going to show you, but I thought, well, just in case you end up getting in this stamp and you want to know how I do it, um, now, these ones are a little bit more Actually, you always start off lighter. Where are we? Start off lighter. You want to start off with this one. And then you go darker. They look quite watery. So, okay, he's going to be a little bit darker. I'll highlight his eyes and all that kind of stuff. Bit later, okay. 
And even though in the picture it's got white, white there. It's okay. If you don't know what to, what colour and all that kind of stuff to do things, you just look up reference, Google Fox, <laughs> um, or whatever it is you're drawing, and they generally will let you know what colours you need to use. Keep the end of the tail white. This needs to be browner, and along here, and you keep. In front in here, I'm sort of going to blend a little bit of white. Now, I do have white, but it's not very pretty. Sort of a, as I've mixed in all the other stuff in with it, I want to I wanna do it white. But just so the yellow colours blend and do the tail. And maybe a little bit more in the ears because they are pretty pink. Okay. Now, now we go in with the redder colour. Sort of highlighting. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit on the top. Quite like these colourful boxes. Sort of a orangey colour. In the middle there, a little brown. Okay, that's a bit gotta be really careful because as you can see that bleeds. Okay. Now sort of have that in there. I wanna clean that again and blend that in. Okay, simple as that. A bit more of the red. Okay. Brown with a pure white. This I'm going to go over with the black. I've got a black pen, um, so I'll go over with that. So I'll iron that again. I'll iron it off camera to save me the trouble. So you would turn that around and iron that down. Okay, back again, giving that a nine. Okay, so that's 28 minutes. So this is this part. Then what I'm going to do in the next one, um, I'm going to get the little bits of um, fabric and all that together. Oh, actually, while I'm here, you get one of these pens if you want to highlight stuff. Fade proof ink. Um, which I usually like to go over the nose and the eyes, make them a little bigger, and I like to connect them out to be honest, I think that looks cuter. And I'll go back and give that an eye again just to seal that in. The eyes a little bigger. There you go. Okay, now there you go. Looks a bit more alive now, doesn't it? Okay, so well, I'll um stop this one, and for the next one, um, I will 
proceed to find fabrics and see what we can do with putting it into place and getting started on doing that. How cute is that? Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.